For any integers x and y, min x y and max x y denote the minimum and maximum of x and y respectively. For example, the min of 5 and 2 is 2, and the max of 5 and 2 is 5. For the integer w, what is the value of min of 10 and w? So here, what we're really asking is, what is their size? Is 10 bigger than w, or is 10 smaller than w? That's really the question that's being asked here. So statement number one tells us that w is the maximum of 20 and some unknown number z. Well, that's very interesting. Let's consider two possibilities. If z is something smaller than 20, then this maximum would be 20 and w would equal 20. If z is larger than 20, then of course z will be the maximum. And so w will equal z, which is larger than 20. So either w is 20 or it's larger than 20. Well, in either one of those, it would mean that it's larger than 10. So that would mean that the minimum of 10 comma w would be 10 because we'd know that w is much larger than 10. So this statement by itself is sufficient. Now let's put statement number one aside and focus purely on statement number two. Statement number two tells us that w equals the max of 10 and w. So automatically that means that w has to be bigger than 10. So 10 is the smaller one. And so necessarily that means if we take the minimum of those same two numbers, it would have to equal 10. It would have to equal the smaller one. So this statement also by itself is sufficient. Statement number one sufficient. Statement number two sufficient. Answer choice D.